coverage of it. Then you press the right button in the city. And it has, you know, a global city, a leading global city with strengths in art, finance, trade, commerce, manufacturing, tourism, transport, education. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. जैसा This was a room which was given to us in Milan. Which place is for two? Good one. The first place was small, but was okay. This is the hotel where we are staying in Milan. It's a four-star hotel. Little bit in the suburb. Now this is the lobby. Well, this was our hotel in Vicenza, Hotel Alpha. What I'll do is, I'll just try to take a glimpse. We are now sitting out. Today we'll be going to Arozzo. Today is the last but last night. And tomorrow is the penultimate night. This is our tour manager, Mr. Satyabrata. This is the reception. This is the waiting area, lobby. This is the coffee shop. And our rooms are all inside. Now we can see the vineyards here. Today we are going towards the Dinkyoro Pisa, the town of Pisa. So this area is full of vineyards. See, today morning the stretch of journey the Ferrari Museum, which is around uh, a couple of hours drive from our hotel. In fact, it took around an hour. Simulation. One can ever feel like how it likes to ride a Ferrari. Now we are coming to the southern part of uh, the middle part of Italy. We are approaching the Pisa town, which will be around 30 minutes from here. The view from here is pretty good. Because this part of Italy is mountainous, we can find a lot of trees, which is usually seen in the hilly area. So from our bus, we're boarding to another bus. This is the battery operated bus. We can go to Pisa. All has to change the bus at the bus stand. So our bus has reached, so we'll get down from here. This was the bus, this is another kind of bus. One can go by this as well. This is more thrilling. Now they are they are going back. Now we are entering into the complex. Okay, we don't need a ticket to go inside, no? Free entry, free exit. Entry free, monument and ticket. No, it's okay. structure 
You know, face the face. You have come much closer to the monument. Now you will find a lot of funny poses people will be doing. Byzantine or Moorish structure. Usually churches do not have this kind of structure or shape. But since Italia was under the Turkish rule for some time. So here we have this this kind of structure for many of the churches. This inverted onion kind of structure. This monument is inclined at a degree at an angle of uh, around four degree, three and a half to be exact. Initially it was uh, around five, but later on uh, the government did some structural work. And because of that, the inclination has gone down, which was earlier around. Uh, five degree has come down to around in between three to four. Go to the ticket counter. Here for Lening Tower, they charge 18 euro per person, whereas uh, for monument, first monument five euro, second monuments. 7 euro, 3 monuments, all put together 8 euro. This is the back side of the complex. There is only one WC here. They will charge 80 cents if you want to use it. This is a museum. Then I will go to the charge. This part the grass is open, you can relax here, take photographs. Now this is the cathedral. I wanted to go into it but there is a long queue. So I am not going. So other side of the cathedral there is a jail. Where Galileo was imprisoned by the church. Since he tried the theory that the all the results and all the sun. Earlier the church used to believe that the sun and all the planets revolve around the earth. Since he challenged the theory, he was imprisoned here. <coughs> it also the room to give you. Nice room. Nice room. Quite comfortable. This is all it. This is yet to be dry. I have taken a few as memory. This is Hotel Planet. Where we stayed at a race yesterday night. Now, today happens to be the last day of our trip. Now, we are very much in Rome. We are in the bus, so can't take. Uh, interview. Okay. Right hand side, we have got the. So, the key uh, Kasa We won't get too much of time at uh, Trevi Fountain. Jada, aapko, I don't think bad Kasa Aram se Khane ka Monga Milega. The toilets are free, I have told you that there are some restaurants in restaurants. There are gelato shops in toilets, but only if you buy something, they let you use it for free. There are restaurants in the toilets. If you have a restaurant, you can use it for free. Now, 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 you can use it for free. So security कुछ ज़्यादा ऐसा strong नहीं है। दो चार आपको card देखने को police का यहाँ पर। तो यहाँ किस किस building के अंदर president रहता है Italy का। ये main gate है। आपके सामने जो देख रहा है, ये main gate है जहाँ पे दो guards खड़े हैं। 
और उसके लेफ्ट दिस इज द प्लेस वेयर द प्रेसिडेंट स्टेज कैमरा रेडी रखिए वो हार्डली सेकंड्स के लिए रहेगा ये पुलिस का बिल्डिंग है ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड और लेफ्ट में जहां पर भी एक कार गई वो गार्डन का एंट्रेंस है प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इटली वही है वही है कार खड़ा है मास्टरी के साथ आपका सामान चोरी करने की कोशिश करेंगे एक बार जब जो लेडी माय ग्रुप जिनका गोल्ड इयरिंग स्नैच कर दिया था और उनको समझ में भी नहीं आया शी थॉट कि धक्का लगा बट ही हेड एक्चुअली स्नैच उनको उन्होंने ये पहना दो म्यूजियम राइट हैंड साइड इज द म्यूजियम ऊपर जो घोड़े पर कौन है मैक्सिमम जो आप बिल्डिंग देख रहे हैं वो सारे म्यूजियम ये भी म्यूजियम है अगर इसका जो डिस्प्ले वो क्यों चेंज हो रहा है क्वार्टर का कहते हैं करना है बाद में ऐसा हो सकता है अगर वहाँ पर पुलिस रहे तो मैं आपको टनल पूरा चला कर पीछे लेकर आऊँ टू गेट टू दिशन पे कम्पॉइंट ऐसे मैं ट्राई करूंगा वहाँ उसको बुलाना लेकिन कुछ भी गारंटेड नहीं है अगर वहाँ पुलिस रहेगा तो दो सौ यूरो फाइन करेगा तो हम अवॉइड करने के लिए हमको शायद चलना पड़ सके It's a lunch time. People are having lunch. This is the seafood. We haven't seen much of a seafood in Italy. People are having their lunch. This is a famous baby fountain. There's a stair there. This is about it. So now it's nice. It's nice. It's quite nice. Eh? Yeah. Really nice. So this is the famous fountain. I've already found my coin. people are taking photograph playing a flute now this was the we found in the name of this fountain is the be the reason being there are three three como espanol tres uh means three so three lanes one is this another is this and the third one is this they make here That's why this place, place is called Trevi. Behind this building, a big palace. That is the palace of the Barberini family. Now we see there is an hotel with the flags on the left side. Be close to the hotel. There is a tree. Behind the tree, you can see the Barberini palace. That was the residence of the family. And today it's a, a museum. Left side. The Barberini Palace. They, they it was a very noble family from Roma. Now we go up to the traffic light, and then we keep going straight. And uh, remember that when we say, for example, a pope called Urban VIII. was a member of the Barberini family and uh, before 1861 the pope uh, was also the king uh, of uh, center Italy so he, he was a ruler he was a very important ruler and uh, that's why the uh, pope was very powerful thing that i was saying uh, 
that before unification Italy was divided yes, in a separate states, a guide for his said Florence room two. was a state, Milan was a state, Venice was separate, and the center Italy with Roma was ruled by the Pope. So, the buildings connected to the Popes were very, very important because were buildings connected to the kings. To the right side we have a small church made by Francesco Borromini that was always another artist from 1600 and uh, at the end of the street the traffic light will turn to the right where there is a traffic light and we will be on Via Nazionale, that means in English, the National Road. And in front of us, you see at the very far, it's, there is a, a bell tower. That is a church called Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore, the Basilica dedicated to Mary. And it's one of the main basilicas in the city of Roma. Now here we turn to right. Is this the semaphore? Yeah, it is the semaphore. The truck is high. We're going to go to the next one. Right side. And we are on the uh, Nazionale National Street. And uh, at the end of the street, uh, we will see the building that we see right now. It's a white building with uh, two chariots at the top. And that building is called the Vittoriano or the Altar of the Fatherland. Now, the Vittoriano is named in this, in this way because Vittorio Emmanuel II was the name of the first king of Italy. Set to the right, we have the so called Palazzo delle Esposizioni, the Palace of the Exhibitions, and it was the former gallery of modern art in the city of Roma that today is a building that hosts several exhibitions in the different parts of the year. And uh, we keep going, we keep going, and uh, we will be in a couple of minutes in Venice Square. The square is called in this way because of the city Venice, and because the palace that we'll see, the Brown Palace, Venice Palace, was the residence of the Pope, Paul II, who came from Venice. I know that you all will also be in, in Venice. Now, we can start looking at the Victoriano and at the top of the building you see that there are two chariots with horses and two women with the wings. Now, the Romans in the past were pagan. Pagans mean that they believe in different gods like Jupiter, like Venus, the goddess of love, Jupiter was the father of the god and the god of thunder. Anyway, they were pagan and there was also the goddess Victory, that in, in Greek, the victory, the victory is called Nike, like the brand, the American brand, because the, 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 the brand is named after the goddess, the Greek goddess. And those are the Greek goddess with the wings, looks like angel, but she is simply the personification of the victory. And that the altar was started at the end of 1800 and was inaugurated in the first years of the 20th century. And it's simply like the monument, the celebration of the King of Italy and the unification. To the left side, we have a building made in brick. It is an original Roman building from the 2nd century of the Christ 
called the markets of Trajan. Trajan was an emperor, and the markets were built in 109. In front of us, left between the buildings, you can see the column of Trajan, and the column was built in always in 109. Now, we go down, and we have other types of Neopertinian buildings, so the buildings that we have around us, right, right and left, were made after the unification of Italy. Now we turn left. And uh, at the end uh, of this road, uh, to the left side, will be in Venice Square. In fact, in front of us we can see a small part of a brown building. The Venice Palace was built at the end of 1400, so it's a very old building. And it's still completely standing intact. And that was the Palace of the Pope. You see the crossed shape of windows made in travertine. Now, when we say travertine, in front of us on the left side, that's the travertine, it's the local stone of the city of Roma, and there is also, it's visible now, it will be visible so better in a couple of seconds, a balcony with the two flags. The flag to the left side, red, white and green, it is the flag of Italy. Right side, the blue one, is the flag of Europe. And uh, that is Venice Palace, and now in front of us we can see the beautiful altar of the Fatherland. There is a, a beautiful statue of the king on a horse. Now look at that statue, because that is made in bronze. And uh, we can see that the bronze statue is huge. Now, I would like to have your imagination. But that statue is gigantic and it's made in bronze and when the workers were making the fusion of the bronze horse at the end of the fusion they had a dinner into the stomach of the horse with the 22 people at a table so think at that inside the horse and now imagine how big the horse is and then we're having a second turn of the square just to let you take in more pictures you can see Venice Palace, and Venice Palace is always important for the contemporary history because Benito Mussolini, under the fascism, had his office inside Venice Palace. So, and from that balcony, he did all the public speeches. Mussolini, Benito Mussolini, under the fascism. Palazzo Venezia. We have Palazzo Venezia, the hotel of the fatherland. And looking to the left, you can see also the Colosseum. Oh. The Colosseum is extremely. Yeah. Yeah. We can see a glimpse of Colosseum from here. Yeah. There is only a small part of it that we can photograph. Now we go to the bottom. The marble of the Victoriano is a charm. View to the right side where you see the tower. That's the capital and hill. And you see there is a big brick structure here. This is a Roman insula. The insula means in English a building. So the building was like a big building with five four floors where the poor people used to live during the Roman Empire. And from here we have the best view of the other building of Venice Square, that you can see it's identical to Venice Palace. That was made later, and it's like mirroring Venice Palace, but it's a model building from the 20th century. In front of us, you can see the three arches of the Basilica of San Mark. San Mark is the protector of the city of Venice. Oh, yes, that's uh, yeah. Venice Square and then left. Then left. Venice Square and then left. And uh, as I was saying, it's like the Twin Palace. And this area is also very important 
he goes that in the past he admitted that were small houses and there was also the house of the Italian artist Michelangelo. Michelangelo is very famous and uh, we would see St. Peter's Dome that was made by Michelangelo. Right, we see a very long street that is called Via del Corso. Via del Corso means the horse, sorry, the race street. It's called in this way because in the Middle Age there were the horse races on this street, and that's the reason why it's called in this way. So we are again very close to Venice Palace. And in the corner of the palace, you can see a marble relief of a lion with wings, because that is the symbol of San Mark and of the city of Venice. And I think you've seen the lion a few times when you've been to Venice. San Marco. In San Mark Square as well. And uh, now we keep going, and this street uh, is uh, also modern. Modern means from the unification after 1861, when in 1870 Roma became the capital of the kingdom. You can see a dome in front of us, that's the dome of the Church of St. Andrew de la Valle. And uh, I think that in Roma there are more than 500 churches so, and all of them are very breathtaking because they were made by very important artists from all the times and the art on that side it's called Largo Argentina it's an archaeological area with the temples and all the temples were built in the 304th century before Christ this is an important spot of the city because in the, the Republican age, we're talking about the first, first century before Christ, here there was a theater, and inside this theater was killed the Julius Caesar. And it's not visible, it's underground. So where you see this building, here left side, major also where you see the show, there was this big theater called the Theater of Pompeo. In this place, Caesar was killed. But today it's not visible because imagine that the city of Roma is like, do you know, the lasagna, the food. The lasagna, Roma is made up of layers. The lasagna is made of layers of food. Roma is made of layers of archaeological things. So, underground there are the ruins of the theater. In other areas there are buildings because the Romans, during the centuries, rebuilt the always on the surface of the ancient things. Because it was more easy. You have something abundant, something destroyed, and you feel, then you reveal. Feel, reveal. That's why, you know, in Roma, we are 4 million of people, and that there are only 3 metro lines, 3 subways. It's because of the archaeological excavations, because every time they start a new tunnel for the new metro, they have to start always the archaeological excavations. In this case, it's not because we are lazy. Just for this case. Now, We'll keep going on the corso of Rinascimento. Esto es la Basilica de San Pietro. So we to the Basilica de San Pietro. That is a queue. 
It's gonna take an hour. Yeah, here, got a nice view from here. Now we are entering into the dome. Lion Plaza. I will prove it up. Now I have come to Colosseum. Uh, that is today's last item, in fact. Now we see the line of the epic of Rome. Traffic is very epic, but it's normal. 